Okay, how do convince guys that not me situation bad? Uh, okay. Uh, KK, right? Come on, you're a ghost. You can't click on KK. Uh, I need to talk to KK, I think, because they're a ghost, maybe? Logan, stop staring at KK and look at me! Huh? Oh. No, I didn't say anything. Something wrong? KK says someone's calling your name. She is. Ha ha ha! Oh, thank God, KK, help! I swear to God, I'm not saying your name. Oh, is this our stop? No, Carissa has control over my body. Tell Logan quick. What's wrong? What? He's possessed again. What? what? Wow. <sighs> you know, I really thought I could make it work this time. Jesus, what hit me? Oh, crap. Guys, wake up. That's a hell of a running... Uh, wow. That's a leg span. We've been running for hours. Why aren't I tired? I once did three performances of Macbeth back to back every day for a week. I can handle this. Also, regenerative magic. That helps too. Why does he talk like he's me? That's weird, right? He, did he do performances? Why did he do performances? Or did he? Or he, has he been an actor before? Where are we going? Don't know. Been running through these old maintenance tunnels at random. If I don't know where we're going, then nobody else will either. I'll find an exit eventually. Then I'll plan my next move. What is your plan anyway? Figure out what to do with you to start with. Really, you're nothing but trouble. Well, it's my body, you asshole. I'm trouble. This is all your fault. I guess technically that's true, but how was I supposed to know it would lead to this? I don't understand. Lead to what? You really don't know, do you? Jesus, how messed up is this? The Anavad will find you. They will stop you. Don't be so sure. It took him a year to find me the last time, and that's only because I screwed up. You screwed up? They took so long to find me, I didn't even notice them on my tail until it was too late. I got cocky. What can I say? I'm only human. I'm only human. Remember that. <laughs> yeah, very clever. Wait, you're not kidding, are you? <laughs> my god, it's kind of funny. Is, is, is the reveal here that I'm Mel Caressa? And that this is an asshole sorcerer that's that that grabbed me from the other dimension and used me to control the body and they kicked the wrong person out. Did they accidentally kick out the human from the body and the spirit remained in the body and that's who I've been playing as? What? What's funny? Tell me. Just the irony. You wouldn't get it. Oh, it's you. Ha, <laughs> you're in for it now. Oh my god, shut up! Yeah, my kids used to say that when I told them to clean their room. Guess how well it turned out for them. Here's a hint. Not as bad as it'll turn out for you. How the hell did you find me down here? Oh, that? I've got your energy signature, remember? From the ritual knife? The what? Forgot about that, did you? We couldn't find you before because we could only track the version of you that possessed that body. So, you know, thanks. You actually made our jobs much easier. Easier, huh? I know where your power comes from, Fire Mage. I know how it works. You think I can't hold my own against you. Me? No, I wouldn't dream of it. I'm just the distraction. Huh? K.O. The subtitles are, are not matching the voice acting a lot in this cutscene. Uh, we're going back to the beginning. 
We're going back to the beginning. Plot twist. What? Is this going to play out differently now? What's going on? Oh, hey. It's you. I thought you were giving up smoking. I was trying to quit to save my voice for the show. Not much point in that now, is there? You mean our show? The one launching in a week? <laughs> Not anymore. The show's done. Kaput. Our fearless directors had a meltdown. Everyone's walked out. Only Mori is left. Is Mori okay? Mori put the money down on this place. How do you think he's doing? I told him he was an idiot for doing that. But whatever. The show's done and good riddance. If you want to go and deal with Mr. Prima Donna, go ahead. Oh, this is getting odd. But I'm talking to people. The dialogue's playing, but now I'm voice acted. But he's saying the same line I picked at the beginning of the game. Like, that's the same conversation we had. Like, I had options, and he's saying the options I picked. So there, there's continuity there. I'm having one last cigarette. Then I'm gonna get so drunk, I'll puke on this stupid costume. Weird. Uh... Is the idea that I'm viewing this from the outside perspective, like I'm not the same person who did it? Like I'm viewing his memories instead of mine? Because they actually were his? Huh? Oh. It's you. I guess you heard. Yeah, I heard. Are you alright? No, I'm not alright. Nothing's alright. Zack's gone off the deep end. He's not coming back. I mean, he's had his moments before, but this... You guys fighting again? Look, Zack's an odd guy at the best of times, but now... I blame you for this, you know. We need a writer and a director, you said. My old friend Zack does both, you said. What the hell were you thinking? Don't blame me. I don't even know what happened. You're right. This isn't your fault. Zack says the play isn't good enough. He wants to do rewrites. Rewrites! We open next week! He's added four major characters. He's changed over half my lines. Serena's too. And he's still not done. He says the ending needs to be more impactful. That doesn't sound like Zack. Well, maybe you didn't know this guy like you thought you did. We don't know what to do. You know him the best. Could you talk to him? I'll try, I guess. Thanks, I'll, I'll just be here. Go away, Maury, please! I'm not Maury, it's me. What? You? What the hell did you do to me? Hey, you wanted to be a brilliant playwright. Now you are. Yeah, but... Ugh, I can't stop! It's like she controls me when I don't write, it hurts! Fine. Where's the book? It's somewhere in here, but, uh, but I can't stop writing. You gotta get me to stop, please. Okay, now it's changing. So we're going back here, and he did it on purpose. The, per the person who I, pr I assume is the original human of in this body is the one who caused Mori to do this in the first place. He did it on purpose. He wasn't just wandering in like, whoa, what's going on? It's crazy. The, per the person in the book is probably who we were playing as. Like who, huh, things have gotten weird. A muse, you called a muse. Yes, and now she won't go away. You cannot will inspiration away. That's not how it works. Nobody understands how dangerous the creative force often is. She's right. If you didn't want this, you shouldn't have summoned her here. You told me to! You gave me the book and told me to! You didn't have to say yes. You always were easily led, Zack. Stop judging and help me! Yeah, he's just as cruel, and he's pushing people into situations where they- where magic gets involved. Just like, you know, the other flashbacks. That was happening here, too. And stab her. Please stop waving those around. It is distracting. <laughs> it will be a play for the ages, remembered for centuries to come. Assuming he survives long enough to complete the process, not many do. Huh? Oh, thank Christ. Better? It's not gone completely, but yeah. 
In a few minutes, I'm gonna be scrambling for a pen and paper, but I'm good. For now. So where's the book? You think you can reverse what happened? I thought I wanted this. I thought I needed this, but... Just give it to me. I am not so easily dismissed, Zachary. I don't care anymore. I just want you gone. Yeah, this is it. It's ready. You prime the pump nicely. Huh? The pump, Zach. Some low-level magic to get things started. That and some good old-fashioned blood sacrifice. What? I've always hated you, Zach. Oh, great, great Melchorissa, spirit, spirit of knowledge, knowledge come, come to me. me. I give, I give to, you to you this, this body, body as your, as your refuge, refuge in this, this world. world. That's a rush. What did you do? You know, it might be a good idea for you to leave and forget everything that just happened while you're at it. Hmm. What? Oh, Zachary's dead. Did you kill him? Oh, I suppose these things happen. <sighs> so, what's the story? Well, why are you staring at me like that? Oh, shut up, Maury. What? What's going on? Oh, hello. Melcarissa, isn't it? Welcome to my brain, I guess. My name is Melcarissa. It's not Keith. Yeah, the book warned me that might happen. You share your knowledge with me, and I share my memories with you. You're like an encyclopedia. You have data, but you don't know how to think. I can do that for you. Speaking of, is there really a dryad trapped in the North Woods? Amazing. Is something wrong? There's blood on my hands. Oh, don't worry about them. They had it coming. They super didn't. They super didn't. No, I'm a murderer. It's my fault. You didn't do anything. Just feels like you did because we're sharing memories. Besides, you're an incorporeal spirit with no mind of your own. Why do you even care? I don't think you know what no mind of your own even means. I'm a horrible, evil person. Okay, look. Send me back to the darkness, please. No, I am in control here, not you. You can rewrite memories, can't you? Yeah, you can. I can see it. Remember this night however you want to. Whatever makes you live with yourself. As for me, I have business to take care of outside. May you be snatched away from this place. Let go of me! You are no longer welcome, wicked spirit. The hands you control will no longer do your bidding. In the name of myself, my witness, and the soul whom you hold captive, I cast you out! Now, KK, turn it on now! Did... did we get it? Oh yeah, we got it. We friggin' got it. So, how do you feel? Yeah, are you... You? Uh, am I me? Is this Mel Carissa now? And that's Keith, apparently? Wow. Well, that's a plot twist. It's a real weird one, too. It's one that makes logical sense, but you would never, you would like never guess it, right? Because it's, uh, it's so odd <laughs> finding out that. Yeah, like I, there's no, there's no template, no rubric, no existing examples really that would lead to you getting that conclusion that I can think of, where it's just a really odd twist finding out that you were the spirit the whole time, and that the re, the got the human was the asshole the whole time, and we banished him temporarily, which is interesting. We were able to ba we were able to banish the human from his own body for like a week. Like, aren't they? Don't they find it interesting that that's clearly like a, a human spirit instead of what it's supposed, normally supposed to be? I'm not me. 
I never was. What the hell does that mean? Um, guys? Are demons supposed to look... human? What do you mean? This demon. It looks like... It looks human because it is human. Well, yeah. It looks like you. What? Yeah. Care to tell us why? Answer the question. Actor or not, I will know if you are lying. I am Melkarissa. I've been Melkarissa since you met me. You're Melkarissa? But that means... That, that means you exorcised the wrong spirit. spirit. Twice. Twice. Morons. Morons. You're not the demon? He gets, he gets it. it. I'd, I'd clap, clap, but, but, but you yeah, know. Yeah, no. But how? It shouldn't be possible to exorcise a human soul. You fry it. Lucky for me that you suck at this. You be quiet. Eli, the words in that exorcism spell, they do not actually specify demon, do they? No, it's broader than that. The exact words were... Wicked spirit. You killed all those people, Keith. I can still see their faces. Yeah, well... well. I always, I always was, was good, good at pretending. pretending. Hell, Hell, that was my life, life wasn't, wasn't it? it? Getting, getting paid, paid to pretend? pretend. Everyone, Everyone said, said I was a was great actor, actor, but I was just was hiding who I really was. was. All the All time. time. Nobody, Nobody else, else understood. understood. Maury and Serena and, and the others. others. They, they did, did it for fun. fun. I, did I did it to survive. survive. Please, cease talking. No, no, no. This is who I am. This is who I always have been. When I got, when I got my, body my body back, back I, thought I thought I could, I could pretend, pretend again. again. Get back, back to back living to a normal life. life. But that's, that's not possible, not possible. Is, it? is it? And maybe, maybe that's a good, good thing. thing. I'm so, so sick of pretending. pretending. Oh God, shut up already! Logan, can you and the kid zap him into the afterlife or something? Um, I don't think so. He's not actually dead, is he? What do you what think, do you think I, am? I am? Some, Some helpless, helpless ghost? 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 I have learned a lot from you, Melchrys. I still have, still have power, power at my disposal, body or no body. See you soon. Ah, you are awake. We were watching you in shifts. It seemed... a sensible precaution. I'm starting to become very aware of the fact that he's been sleeping in his day clothes for like a week. With no changing and no sleeping clothes. He also sleeps on top of the bed like every video game character does. Uh, as in like, not under the sheets. Well now, I'm not the rightful owner of this body. Although I don't know if anyone's going to necessarily care. But also maybe I'm not supposed to be here long term? I don't know how that works. Did I glow or float or chant in my sleep? No, you did not. Did I ever tell you that I am an avid fan of the theater? I go as often as I can, which is less often lately. I have a confession. I met you once, several years ago. The performance where this picture was taken, I was in the audience. Do you remember anything about that performance? Anything at all? I remember Maury tripping over a prop sword and doing the whole show with a limp. Did he? I hadn't noticed. Quite the professional. My point is, I came to see you after the show. It was only for a moment. I doubt you'd remember it. I wanted to congratulate you on your performance. You, or rather, that other you, was gracious, genuine. But it was a lie, and I did not see it. He was full of hate for his colleagues, for everything. So, I must ask, does any of that hatred remain inside his head? I can't speak for Keith. I look at that picture and remember being happy. Truly spoken. 
And that is all I needed to hear. We will meet you downstairs. We had a hint of that before, the idea that the actor... Actors are so strong they can almost suppress her ability. She was taken aback by the fact that I told a lie and was able to believe it when I said it, which made her not know, like she almost didn't catch it. She did, she still caught it, but she almost didn't. And she saw that, saw that, saw that as being remarkable. What if her power doesn't work on psychopaths? Which Keith might be. What if he doesn't have the emotions that would tell that he's lying? It's the only thing that makes sense. Yeah, it doesn't sound right, but maybe it's for the best. Hey, he's here. Uh, you better get over here. Yes, we have come to a decision. I'm an abomination, I know. Jesus, don't be so overdramatic. Indeed, we were only discussing the trains. Yeah, the F train is down, so we're gonna have to take the six and then transfer. It's the only way to get over to Brooklyn. Especially at this hour. What do you mean? It is as we said, no more and no less. Listen, you're not who you thought you were. I thought I was an accountant once. Turns out I was wrong. Someone's out there doing God knows what. You're here trying to help stop it. In terms of the big picture, nothing has changed. Our goal remains the same. Assuming you are still with us. I'm more determined than ever. That's what we'd like to hear. So, what should we call you? Yeah. We can't keep calling you by the same name. Call me Mel. Simple. I like it. Craving simplicity. I can understand. A fine choice. Mel. What exactly am I? This is a question I have asked myself my entire life. I have yet to find an answer. That's not exactly encouraging. It is the only truth I can offer. No, I get it. Everyone is trying to figure out who they are. Some more than others. Human or not, you're just like everybody else alive. Uh, sorry, KK. So, am I human? You are if you want to be. That's really all there is to it. Let's get back out there. We're ready to go when you are. All right, big final mission. I haven't gone with Logan and Mondana yet. That could be a good group. I have no idea who is a good group to take to Brooklyn. Wow, that's a, that's a hell of a thing to pronounce. Hoyt... Hoyt Shermer... Shermer... Shermerhorn. Shermerhorn? Sh Shermerhorn. Hoyt Shermerhorn. That's a... A very German sounding last name. Yeah, it does kind of look like him. Pardon? Uh, KK was talking about that skull painted over there. She says it reminds her of a Trollgate boss monster. Hmm, it reminds me of the Barbados Undead Uprising in 1834. And that I thing... don't want to know, do I? Most likely not. And that thing reminds me of Johnny Bravo crossed with Earthworm Jim. What can we do for you? Have you ever come to Brooklyn before, Logan? <laughs> There's like three bars on every block in this area. So yeah, we came here quite a lot. But these days, I usually just go to Greenwood Cemetery. You go to the cemetery. Why, are there a lot of ghosts there? Uh, no, just the opposite. Ghosts don't like to admit they're dead, remember? 
So Graveyard is peaceful, especially to a guy like me. I can relax for a bit, and best of all, I don't have to see a single dead person. Right. Sorry, KK. Except you. I killed people not far from here. It feels wrong to just come back. Yeah, it can be difficult to confront a wrong you've done, even if it wasn't technically you that did it. But it still happened. It still matters. Accepting that is a part of healing. It might be too late to help the ones you hurt, but it's never too late to help yourself. I used to live here, but those memories aren't mine. It's so confusing. Listen, I can't begin to relate, but I do know what it's like to have feelings you want to drown away. So my advice? Focus on the job ahead. That's enough to get you through today. And worry about tomorrow, tomorrow. And I'm here, if you ever want to talk. Right. And KK too. Sorry. Talk to you soon, Logan. You too, KK. Right. What say you? You know anything about this area? You may find it strange. When I think of this neighborhood, I am reminded of cows. Brooklyn reminds you of cows. Yes, cows and sheep and horses. This area was pasture long ago. Hundreds of acres of it. A dangerous place for a young girl to run and play. My father forbade me to come here. So naturally, I came whenever I could. Then, of course, the war happened. A war happened? Which war? The Revolutionary War. This area was home to the bloodiest battle of them all. Gunpowder smoke from cannons and muskets filled the air. Trenches crisscrossed the land. History says the American forces were driven off, but they do not mention the cows. I miss them terribly. A bloody battle happened here, but you were concerned about the cows? Well, someone had to be. Apologies. I am aware of how cold that sounds. Back then, I was very young, still unsure of my place in the world. I spent most of my time alone, and my childhood playground had become a battleground. So yes, I was concerned about the cows. Let us speak no more of this. It feels so strange to be back in Brooklyn after everything. Yes, I imagine it would. You did not exactly leave under pleasant circumstances. Regardless, we are here to do some good. In some small way, that may help. I have so many memories of Brooklyn, but they aren't really mine. Yes, I can see how that might be confusing. Some unsolicited advice from one half-spirit to another. There is no right answer. Your only option is to just let yourself be yourself. You are you. No more, no less. We'll talk later, Mandana. Yes, I believe we will. A worm with shades. Edgy. <laughs> Flashing walk sign giving crossing directions to an empty street. A thumb with a face. At least you hope it's a thumb. It looks like a monster from a behemoth game. Poetry slam. We can cross the street, we can walk over here, or we can go towards the poetry slam. Obvious, obvious answer here. Let's go get poetry hammered. A majestic illustration of an angel graces this wall, but the camera can't see the top of it. Whispered words escape from the dim interior of the poetry club. I traveled up the mountain of glass to the man who looks down upon high. But he sent me away, he gave me a pass. So now I drink coffee and sigh. I saw a pink dog by the side of the road. He looked up and gave me a wink. Then I helplessly watched as I saw him explode. I may have been dreaming, I think. I'd hope so, or I got hit by a car. The colors, the colors, green, blue, and red. All mixed up within the same pot. 
I lifted it up and poured it on my head. Pleasant feeling? I think not. Getting some Grim Fandango flashbacks. <sighs> Do you mind? Can't you see I'm... Wait, Mondana? Is that you? Yes. Wow, it's been a while, huh? I am unsure. Do I know you? Um, yeah. Don't you remember Havana, 1592? I must be G-eyed. Calliope? That's me. You seem changed. Yeah, you could say that. I'm gonna sit down. Come join me. We've got, like, a billion things to catch up on. Wow. Instantly. That was unexpected. I'm instantly like, wow, I nailed my character choice, evidently. Uh, walked in on, on a very old character. Is she the same muse from before, too? 